My name is Corey King. I'm a trooper with Kentucky State Police, and right now we're on 431 South at Southern Oaks Elementary School. I've been out about 5, 5.30 this morning, and the conditions are completely ice covered. What I have noticed is as the day progresses, the roadways are becoming more slick. The reason is because you had a freezing rain that gives a, a layer of very slick ice conditions, and then you have the sleet on top of that, which is more coarse. That adds a little bit of traction. As a day goes by, more cars are traveling that's eroding the coarse sleet, exposing the slick ice. If you have to go out, please make sure that you consolidate your trips and allow a loved one to know where you're heading and the, the planned traveled route. And the reason is, is if you were to slide off the road or involved in a wreck, and maybe perhaps you have no phone signal or in a poor area, at least we in law enforcement or other emergency services can retrace those steps and find you faster. As you noticed, uh, the wind is whipping here. It is cold. Uh, those folks that have to get out, make sure you do have your car fully equipped, full of fuel, and make sure you have a nice warm blanket and a fully charged cell phone. Throughout the night, we had received the majority of our calls in Henderson County, which is good for us Davis Countyans. Uh, however, what Henderson experienced, Davis County will experience. Every time it seems, every time we have an ice event like this, we see the Ottoman Parkway, the Natcher Parkway, all of those, those high elevated roadways, including the 60 bypass, they will freeze over first. Those roadways are our biggest concerns as of now. We have troopers around the clock. We're working closely with sheriff's departments and city police officers to ensure that uh, we get all motorists to their destination safely. If you plan to travel, make sure you take it slow. Uh, this is a day that you want to slow down and ensure that you increase your following distance. That's probably the number one complaint we in law enforcement see is the following distance. So increase your following distance by three times what you normally would in your regular commute. 